Welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator, Ravi Gupta. Today, we are going to talk about type of turbocharging system. In today's video, I will explain you pulse type turbocharging and pressure type, constant pressure type turbocharging. Before reading the video, I want to tell you that I have made the video regarding scavenging and turbocharging and type of scavenging process such as loop scavenging, uniflow scavenging, cross scavenging. If you want to know, I will keep the video in my description box. You can watch the video. So let's begin the today video. The first question is that what is pulse charging? So basically in turbocharging system, the charging is been defined in two ways pulse type and pressure type. Pulse type turbocharging is been used in an auxiliary engine and pressure type turbocharging is used in main engine. So sometimes the question is asked that why we are using this pulse type in auxiliary engine and pressure type in main engine so after watching the video i hope your doubt will be clear so what is happening basically as you can see this is the turbine grouping okay and this is a various number of cylinder head exhaust coming out and it is been going to the turbine inlet basically as you can see the exhaust coming out from each cylinder head is been grouped into a three section. Okay. And what is happening? The exhaust is coming from here is striking the blade and is rotating the blade and is going out. And on that shaft as it is rotating a compressor is fitted which is taking the fresh air in and is compressing the air and providing it for a scavenging process. So first why we are using pulse type in auxiliary engine? Actually auxiliary engine runs at a RPM of 720 and is a 4 stroke type. So whenever the exhaust gas is coming out is having some impulse energy that impulse energy is been transmitted and it is converted from its kinetic pressure wave form to a velocity energy and it is been impinged on this nozzle blade so once more i will tell you what is happening the exhaust gas which is coming out from each of the cylinder head is having impulse energy. In pulse type turbocharging, we are using the impulse energy of an exhaust to drive the turbine. And hence, it is to prevent that the impulse energy doesn't die out, we are grouping it into a three section okay so in pulse type of charging impulse energy is the pressure wave converted to the kinetic energy at high velocity to rotate the turbo charger very clear means impulse energy is a pressure wave which is converting the kinetic energy at high velocity to rotate the turbo charger turbo charger to be placed close to engine with no sharp bend, more complicated but improve the output of the turbo charger. Basically what is happening, if like this, if you take out the exhaust cover, the exhaust grouping will look like that, see, means for here three grouping is there, one, two, three, means for two unit it has been done. Now means 
here you can see is basically two grouping is done one and two for six unit but here for six unit three grouping are done one two for individually and you can see what I want you to see is that the pipe which has been provided is having minimum bend what I mean to say is that the pipe is not having minimum bend so that the impulse energy while traveling to the turbines doesn't die out okay so if anybody asks you that what happened in pulse type turbocharging you should say in a simple word sir the exhaust which is coming out from the cylinder head is having impulse energy that is been transmitted through a exhaust grouping to the turbine side and it is providing the drive to the turbocharger by converting it into a piece for into a velocity energy by the help of a nozzle okay the pressure of the impulse is been converted into the velocity with the help of a nozzle that impinges onto the turbine blade okay now the advantage of having this impulse energy is that it doesn't depend upon load and for that reason it is used in auxiliary engine in auxiliary engine is made to run at a constant rpm and its load vary with minimum and therefore as in the lower load as in a higher load the impulse energy generation will always be there and therefore it will provide the drive to the turbine it will provide the necessary drive to the turbine to drive the turbine and which will ultimately provide the compressed air to the auxiliary engine so once more i want to tell you what is i mean to say the impulse energy is coming and from the help of a nozzle which is placed here is converting it into a form of a velocity which has been impinged on this nozzle blade as it is getting impinged it is making it to rotate and that is compressing the air now if the load changes so what will happen the impulse energy of the turbocharger will not die out because we have created the grouping in such a way that it has a minimum bend and hence the impulse energy will not die out but the impulse energy intensity will be less what i mean to say that if the load is high at that time the impulse energy intensity will be more and hence the turbocharging will be more and scavenge air pressure develop will be more but the in the low load the impulse energy intensity will be less but it will produce the compressed air because of the rotation will always be there okay now as you can see here this is the exhaust this is the suction this is the compressor side this is the turbine side okay now as you can see here this is the exhaust grouping which has been done with a careful consideration that the bend should be minimum so that most of the impulse energy is been transmitted to the turbine side now what do you mean by constant pressure turbocharging in a constant pressure turbocharging we are storing each of the individual exhaust which is coming out from the exhaust valve to a common manifold with the help of this we are dying the impulse energy which is been present in a exhaust gas very important at what i have told you that in auxiliary engine 
we are making the use the prime source of drive to the turbocharger is impulse energy but in constant pressure turbocharging the prime source is not impulse energy the impulse energy of the exhaust gas which is coming out from the exhaust valve is died out in this constant pressure exhaust manifold and in this chamber a constant pressure of a exhaust gas is maintained which is been passed through a nozzle and its velocity is been increased and it is impinged on the turbine blade to rotate the compression now very simple in a word if you say the exhaust manifold the gas which is coming out from the cylinder is stored in this exhaust manifold the impulse energy present in that will be died out and that will be passed to the turbine through a set of a nozzle which will increase the velocity from the pressure energy by using the enthalpy drop and it will provide the necessary drive to the compressor and it will provide the necessary scavenge air to the scavenge manifold so now as you can see we are not using impulse energy so at lower load now the question is very important you must hear at lower load the impulse energy will be generated but it will die out in this pressure manifold so at lower load the intensity of the pressure develop will be lower so the turbo charging system will not be efficient enough to provide the necessary compressed air to the scavenge manifold very important once what i want to tell you as the exhaust coming out from here having the impulse energy is been dying out in the exhaust manifold now the pressure is in the exhaust manifold at lower load will be low so the power to turbine to drive the turbine will be very much lower hence the compressor will rotate at much more less rpm and therefore it will be unable to compress the air to that much amount which will be necessary for the scavenge manifold to overcome this problem the auxiliary blower is been provided now i will come it to later one more thing i want to tell you but apart from the low load operation we need a blower but why we are using it constant pressure turbocharging why we are not using pulse type turbocharging here the concept is that the main engine in the most of the time is made to run at a higher load means in a fuller heat at a 75 to 85% of its mcr so at that time a prime main source is that abundant amount of compressed air should be present in a manifold and for that we are matching the turbocharger with that efficiency so for a low load operation it will work only in the time of maneuvering so we for that time we are using the turbo sorry we are using the blower auxiliary blower okay if the maneuvering is too long the auxiliary blower will work fine okay no problem but as the engine through its lifetime will run mostly in 75% to 85% of mcr it is provided for that now the second advantage is that as we are maintaining a constant pressure in this manifold we have a choice to place the turbocharger anywhere so the space problem or some problem it need to it can be placed anywhere irrespective of the thing here three turbocharger is in place but that is not the case with the pressure type sorry impulse type turbocharger 
the turbo charger can be placed here but you can't place it more further because as further you will go the impulse energy will die out means as long as the impulse energy coming from the exhaust six will have a little effect compared to the impulse energy coming from impulse one so for that reason the placing of the turbocharger is very much meaningful in the pulse type turbocharging and it need to be placed at that position only but the feasibility we are getting in a constant pressure charging is that as the pressure is been here main factor impulse is not the main factor so we are getting the accessibility to place the turbine and the compressor arrangement anywhere we can place it here we can place it here depending upon our requirement okay now let's see what happened at the low load so as you can see the exhaust is coming out from here is driving the turbine and is going out and the air is coming for and compressed and then it passes to a air cooler and then it is going to the engine inlet in a scavenge manifold from there it will provide it for a combustion purpose now at low load as this will not be effective so uh, auxiliary blower will be provided this auxiliary blower will take the air from here that is from the engine room area and this is electric power okay this is electric power and for that it need 30 to 40 kilowatt motor it need to be electric power so as it is electric power it will rotate at constant rpm it will take the air from the scavenge from the engine room areas and it will provide that to the scavenge space basically this type of valve you can see is been provided okay from here while coming and from here while coming before inlating to the scavenge space it need to pass through this type of valve this is the scavenge space okay and this is the unit one two three four five six this is six unit scavenge space okay so as you can see the intake of air is from the engine room area and it is not been cooled by the charge air cooler so if the exhaust gas sorry exhaust gas will be produced will have a means engine efficiency will be less because if the engine temperature is more at that time the engine efficiency will be less why you need to tell me okay that will i will explain in my next video and second thing i want to tell you as the air is coming from here and the air cooler is not incorporated so if the auxiliary blower is done for a longer period of time and while the main engine is not in use at that time the scavenge high temperature alarm may sometime come and you if you if you have sailed in a ship you know that when in maneuvering when the movement is not given for a longer period of time in that time you are told to stop the auxiliary blower why because it will increase the temperature of a scavenge manifold okay so i hope you have got a clear idea that why constant pressure turbocharging and pulse type turbocharging is used in a turbocharging system and why it is used in an auxiliary engine and why it is used in a main engine i hope you like the video please i have a very much dire request to all of my friend all of the marine engineers who is out there hearing me please share my video please because basically i am making it for you all and if you please encourage me to share this video so that it can reach more of the friend so that they can come to this platform and learn my only aim is so that everybody can learn so if you think i have given something in this video i have given something output in this video please share the video that is my only request thank you friend have a good day